Welcome back, everybody. It's time for another deep dive. Yeah. And today we're looking at this um, yeah. this new Clint Eastwood film, Juror, hashtag two. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we got a couple articles here about it. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I got to say, the, the premise itself is, is pretty wild. Yeah. Um, especially when you think about you know, Clint Eastwood's career. Yeah. What what jumped out at you from the articles? Well, you know, it's it's amazing to see Clint Eastwood still directing films at 94 years old. Yeah. And, you know, he's so well known for all those westerns and yeah. the action films. Usually, yeah. you see those kind of stoic heroes facing these really difficult moral choices. And right. It's just fascinating to think how he's going to apply that to this Portland drama. Yeah, it does seem like a departure from what we're yeah. used to seeing from him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, this whole idea of yeah. being on jury duty for a murder trial and then realizing yeah. that you might be the killer. Oh, yeah. That's heavy. That's pretty heavy stuff. Yeah. Um, and I like how one of the articles pointed out this moral dilemma. Yeah. You know, does he risk everything to confess or does he stay silent <laughs> and, un and potentially yeah. let a guilty verdict go through? Yeah, right. I mean, and just that internal struggle must be agonizing. Yeah. I think Nicholas Holt, who's playing the juror, I think he can pull it off. I think he has the acting abilities to really to really make us feel that. Yeah, you mentioned Nicholas Holt. The articles also highlight Tony Collette. Oh, yeah. And Zoe Deutsch in the film. It's a good cast. It's a pretty solid cast. Yeah. Um, and I, I think it was the CGR Cinemas article mm -hmm. that mentioned how it's being categorized as both a drama mm -hmm. and a thriller. Yeah. Which I think fits perfectly. Definitely. And, you know, thinking about Clint Eastwood's style, the way he uses those close-ups yeah. and the silence, I bet those techniques are going to be really effective mm -hmm. for building tension, right. especially in a setting like a courtroom. You know, it's so confined. Yeah. You might even remind us of, like, a classic Hitchcock film. Oh, wow. With the suspense slowly ratcheting up. You know, like a psychological thriller. Yeah. Playing out inside the jury box. Exactly. Um, you know, this whole idea of, Self-preservation versus confession. Yeah. That really hits home, too. It does. Like, we, we see that in the real world all the time. We do. It's, and think about, like, whistleblowers. Right. Or even just everyday situations yeah. where people have to grapple with, do I tell the truth when it could cost me my job, my relationships, whatever it might be. Yeah. This film seems to really tap into that universal human experience of wrestling with a difficult choice. Yeah. And knowing that there are going to be huge consequences either way. Yeah, it makes you wonder yeah. what, what any of us would do if we were in similar situations. Right. Would we risk it all yeah. to do what we thought was the right thing? Yeah. Or would self-preservation win out? It's a tough question. Tough questions. Uh -uh. And Eastwood never shies away from tough questions. Yeah, yeah you know, it's so fun. The movie poster has this really dark and brooding feel to it. Yeah. Which seems to fit the it tone is. of the film. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, so just to recap, we've got a new Clint Eastwood film. Yeah. Exploring this really powerful moral dilemma, a great cast. Yeah. And a release date of, wait for it, today. Oh, wow. Talk about perfect timing. Right, like this deep dive was meant to be. It seems like it, yeah. So, before you head out to see the film, I have to ask, mm -hmm. what would you do if you were juror, hashtag two? Would you risk everything? to come clean. Or with self-preservation? Went out, let us know what you think after you see the film.